Okay then, it's finally time for us to up the damage. In this video, we'll be doing Patient Zero, which is going to give us the Mesa Warframe. This is probably the highest damage Warframe in the game. Unless something has changed since I've like played, last played of Mesa, um, this boyo is... Uh, or should I say Gurlio, actually. I think I'm fairly sure Mesa is a female Warframe. Obviously, we're going to start Patient Zero. Everybody should be... <laughs> Level 20, 20 to 22. Everybody should be well strong enough for this. The only thing that maybe people might struggle with is Alad V himself. Obviously, I've got some tips for that once we get up there. You can see that I'm going to be using Nova, and I'll be using Nova against Alad V once we get there. I think Nova is probably the best all round, especially with a party. We'll talk about that once we get to that point later in the video for now. I just want to go through one of these missions. They're all fairly similar in that they are all sabotage missions, I believe. Oh no, this is a spy mission, actually. This is going to be standard first spy mission. Maybe I should have changed. We'll find out when we get there. A is that way. Let's go. I didn't pay attention to the mission type we were going on here. Yes, this is just a spy mission. All right. Had more range on my Nova build. We probably could have just zapped across there. All right. So standard first spy mission. Don't bring Nova to this first mission. Bring it to the next ones. It's unusual for me to have to actually uh, <laughs> inter interact with the puzzles. So, uh, I assume most people know what to do in spy missions, so we'll skip forward until we get to the, one of the um, one of the hive sabotage nodes. Again, so, it was very simple, just a normal Orpus spy mission. There was nothing that, different that I needed to really mention, other than it's mixed enemies. So, going on to the next one, I'm pretty sure we should be on to sabotage now. We have to do three of these, so, yeah, here we go. So, let's just make sure that I've shown one of these infested hives so we've got three of them and as we go on like more and more like ship defenses and stuff are going to come online we just have to break oh those two are really obvious they're not normally that obvious wow is the game trying to help me it's not normally that easy to find them but as you can see all we do is we destroy these tumors here and we should get yeah there we go main hive just there and that's how they all work um sometimes they can be a little bit more hidden than that that was Oddly um, easy to find them all. Let's try. Let's just move on to the next one because that one was nice and quick. Okay, yeah. So we got you there. That's good. I just got a sim cord. Cool. Very nice. We have Octavia, but we don't have personal quarters yet, so we can't actually even use that on this uh, in the series. I do need to do how we unlock the personal quarters, don't we? We don't have that yet, and then we can actually play music. Yeah, I can't tell if they made these easier to find. Definitely feels way easier than it used to be. But uh, just basically, as you can see, rinse and repeat until you've got all of the nodes done. It's, I think, pretty sure, it's going to be three of these missions the same over and over. So yeah, we'll skip to the end of this one. Again, so as you can see, it's just going to be another one of these. So there's going to be three altogether, just so you guys know. So we're triangulating Alad V's location right now. That's the story behind what we're doing. So we've got two more of these. Pretty much going to be identical. Fairly sure. I don't think they even change at all. No, this doesn't look any different. No. Okay, so, yeah, we'll skip forward to having all the three of those done so we can get to the final mission. Cars. I don't need you guys. <laughs> I don't need to repeat. Oh, the same mission. Oh, same mission. Right. So, uh, yes, yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll skip ahead. Um, Alad V himself is actually pretty tough in terms of kind of how his boss mechanics work, especially as a group. Obviously, I'm going to be doing it solo, which is kind of a bit different, I suppose. So I'll, uh, I'll make sure I've got some tips for that once we uh, get up to that point. Okay, so once all of the sabotage missions are done, we can get on with Patient Zero. Or should I say the laboratory ship? Let's get on in. Now, I think in this one, we actually face off against his pet Warframe. Yeah, Infested Messer. Shouldn't be too bad. Assumedly, she doesn't use her fourth ability. It's been a while. Do do do. I can always build a new lab ship, but you can't keep running from your destiny. There it is, there's infested Mesa. Put that down. Shouldn't be an issue with Ignis. Couldn't tell if there was anything we needed to farm out of I don't think there is. It'd be annoying to farm anyway, because you'd have to repeat the whole set of missions. Anyways, with that done, we can extract and move on to the final part of how to farm Mesa, which is uh, probably the most difficult bit. Okay then, so now that the quest is complete, we can move on to actually farming Mesa. 
This can take a bit of a while because you have to get Mutalist Alad V nav coordinates. There are two sources that I know of specifically. The first one is the most obvious one where you'll find them, and that is on the invasion missions when Forrid appears. You can get it as a reward. Each one of these is going to get you one run at the mission. It's worth noting that players can share keys. Now, if you go into key shares and you can like put into the chat and stuff, um, you know, that you want to do a, a messer key share, people will try and do this. And if people have spares, often they'll run it with you because people know how frustrating this, this process can be. If you don't have any invasions that have the most rewards, your next best bet is going over to Demos and running hit. You have a 20% chance of having one drop from rotation B and C, I think it is. So you're going to be doing this in sets of 20 to get yourself the extra keys from there. Now, if you get a full squad of keys and everybody shares, so four keys, you can do this with one. Okay, but each time, obviously, that fails, you're going to have to go through and do another key share set, basically. And it will be over in your keys area where you'll be able to use your Allard V nav coordinates to go ahead and run it. Now, of course, I've been playing for quite a while and I've helped a fair few people do this, which is why I have so many here. And I always tend to pick them up when I see them. So um, it's just something that you'll need to have built. You can see it takes an hour for each one as well. This is probably what kind of just makes people kind of <laughs> a little bit annoyed at this process. If if Mesa Prime is available, it'd probably be quicker to just go ahead and farm the Warframe. Anyways, not only do we have a bit of a, uh, a difficulty in acquiring the nav coordinates, Allard V, or should I say Mutalist Allard V, is no walkover of a boss, especially in a squad. Okay, so I'm going to be going in solo, and I'm going to be taking Nova here, and we're taking a Wraith, the Ignis as well. I recommend everybody takes Ignis. It's up to you which Warframe you want to take, but you're going to see why when we go through. <laughs> Nova just keeps on coming in clutch. Solo, Nova is just really good at a lot of missions. I'm, I'm kind of falling back in love with it because it's just been so good in so many situations. So just in case you guys want to see what we're running here, we're running fairly high strength and as high duration as we can get because that is just what makes Nova tick. And in addition to that, then the most important things on your Ignis is your heat damage and your status chance. OK, we need as much of that as possible. Rate of fire is probably pretty, pretty good as well, because we're going to be trying to stack as much heat proc on Allard V as we possibly can. Just looking now, see if there's something we could maybe swap out. I know that what we're going to do is going to work anyways, but that's that probably would work quite nicely. Um, because the idea here is we're going to try and stack heat procs on Allard V, okay? So, I'll talk about it now. Basically, he's going to be invulnerable for most of the fight, and he's going to have tiny, like, one-second instances where he takes his collar off, and you can actually do damage to him. Now, he is still affected by status, and heat procs do damage over time, and can stack infinitely. So, the idea here is going to be that we're going to slow him down with, Nova, with the Molecular Prime. We're going to absolutely pile on the heat procs, keep on pile on heat procs, and then, because we've slowed him down, we're going to extend his damage window, and just absolute daily, basically, is what's going to happen. But anyways, let's get in here, and we're going to go ahead and show a bit of a run. Now, the other dangerous thing that Aladri can do, that you have to be careful of as a party, is if there's more than one of you, he can possess one of the Warframes, okay? I don't know if he does it solo. He didn't do it to me when I practiced earlier. Let's get that on. So be extremely careful, because if he possesses one of the Warframes, like, say, with the, with the Ignis Wraith on here, that Warframe, fully modded, is going to be attacking the players. So this could be a bit trolly as a group, even though that is the best way to farm this Warframe. Now, if you stack the... Heat procs high enough between the squad, he should just pop, right? When it when it comes to him actually like trying to damage you and he takes his color, color off to attack, which is basically how this works, he should just die, okay? So if enough of you are bringing enough heat procs, it shouldn't be a problem, which you'll see in a second, all right? Now, as an added bonus on mine, I also have corrosion, which is going to knock his armor down even more. Wow. by making this even easier. So we want to get in this. We want to get the Nova Prime. We want to get the Melechia Prime off, should I say? All right, come here. Make sure he's slowed. And then we're just going to pile on. You can see at the top, look, we're just piling on, piling on the procs. You see how, how it just flashed there that we were able to do some damage? That's that's how little time you get. So we're just going to keep piling them on, keep piling them on. And then he takes his collar off and he pops. Nice and easy, right? And the, uh, the Molecular Prime from Nova stopped all of his friends from joining in. He does, like, spawn extra enemies, but they didn't even get into the fight to be able to beat him. Okay. So we can talk about a load of mechanics if you wanted, or just bring a flamethrower. Any any form of Ignis with high status and heat on it doesn't really matter. Nothing else about the weapon matters. 
as much heat proc as you can, and that will defeat Alad V. Rinse and repeat until you've got all of your mess of parts, and I hope you enjoy the Warframe. I will eventually get into doing some, like, builds, maybe, like, mid ish game builds because i feel like everybody does like end game builds with like full art gains 100 percent maxed out mods nobody does like you know clear clearing the game builds like mid game builds that anybody can do maybe i'll do something like that soon enough here's what people want anyways i hope that helps you out and i'll catch you all in the next video